Hey guys. guys. Welcome to This Is Not A Date Podcast. I'm Callison. I'm Jade. And I'm Keith. This week, we are opening up with the premiere of The Bachelor. The 25th season. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Let's get into it. It feels so good right now. So we have Matt as the new, Matt James as the new Bachelor. And a uh, little tidbits about him. He's a Christian. He's very devoted to his faith. He has a broken family, unfortunately. Um, his mother is white. His dad's black. And he's kind of struggling with that this season with his identity and trying to please both the black side and the white side and who he chooses. Um, I think he just needs to stop trying to please people. I think so, just too. I think, I think he's learning that. Though. Stop caring I, so I much. I think he's, he's doing a really good job of just taking it slow and just doing what he feels is best. Mm -hmm. um, but also, he volunteers uh, with some super sweet kids. Half of them are homeless, apparently. And he there was a little preview at the beginning of him working with them, and it just melts your heart. Um, he's also a real estate broker. So, so relatable. Well, so relatable. <laughs> um, and he just seems like an all-around, like, just amazing guy. So we're, we're super happy to have him as The Bachelor oh, yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. Um, but starting out in the episode, we um, it cuts to immediately, it kind of oddly jumps into it, where um, I think her name was um, Katie. Katie walks Katie. in with a vibrator. <laughs> and um, it's pretty hilarious how she I did it. I was confused when it first was happening I was like wait oh, did wait. I miss like, yeah like the beginning that's part what I, thought. I went episode. back like, oh, two yeah. times this is like yeah. the first time they've actually like done an intro yeah like, I was so like confused I was starting off I was it like, was it was the, the first moment the first second of the episode was the opening of the door of the limo and mm -hmm. the whole scene of this girl coming out with her, her dildo <laughs> did you miss the first half hour of the show did you, I you, you did it. not. You oh. yeah. It feels <laughs> like, like you did, though. I was like, are you telling me I did? Or? It definitely feels like you did. And then what happened, it was really, really funny. But so she goes up and she's she has it behind her back. And she's talking to him saying, you know, it's been a hard time for everybody in the pandemic. And I just want to share something that's, you know, really helped me through it. And she her, her timing was excellent. I You know, props to her. And she whips out the dildo and he just dies laughing. It was one of the, like the purest moments of him like laughing in the episode. Yeah. Um, they probably have never had someone that wanted to do that before. I know. But it, it was hilarious. I know. Um, he definitely owned it. Yeah. And Matt has a good sense of humor throughout the entire show. Oh, yeah. I know. Like. Yeah. He's, he seems to be very. Definitely. Um, just such a, has such a positive spirit and also such a calm, calmed, peaceful spirit, which. For now. Is, for now. For now, he for cries now. later, but <laughs> I mean, good for him. Men, men, men should cry more. Yeah. Um, okay, so after that, we of course learn more about him, like I, I said before, um, and we learn from his mom. Who they had a little conversation at the mm -hmm. beginning of the episode. Wait, can we go back just a mm -hmm. second? Before he met his mom, he was like driving up to the house. He was in a G wagon, and he pulls up to a mansion. Oh yeah. And yeah, he's, he's like, he's oh my god. But it's like the bachelor's probably yeah, and, getting... and he's also a real estate broker, so well, that, like he's, he's probably, probably sold plenty that, of, that, yeah, that he's probably, he's oh. probably seen plenty of beautiful houses. Yeah, and so he's like, whoa, is are, is uh, ABC giving him a G wagon in this house, or is that his house? <laughs> is that part is that of his G wagon? Like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, yeah. probably. Maybe. Anyway, so, so the deal. back to the moment with him and his mom. Um, they sit down and talk about, you know, if he's ready or not, kind of a typical conversation before they jump into things. And, mm -hmm. um, she believes that he is ready, but he said he definitely has a issue with being vulnerable. You know um, what? That word was thrown out so much times yesterday. Yeah. So um, much time. probably so much, so over a hundred times. times the word vulnerable yeah. was brought up. Uh -huh. vulnerable. Everyone was being vulnerable. Vulnerable. <laughs> um, anyways, so talk, tell us more about Matt being vulnerable so he said he's had trouble with it in the past he's never been in love and he's really so he gonna thinks. make an effort to open up mm -hmm. and um make give yeah. it a real shot this time and both his mom and him were like i think like you're ready and he's like i think i'm ready so yeah. i feel like he was a good choice for this gosh season. such a good choice i yeah. i didn't really know until this episode how much of a good choice he was and mm -hmm. so um after that after they have that little convo with um his mom, they go into the girls. What did you think about the, the introduction of the girls? Like um, they did a little previews. It was very quick, but. Yeah, it seemed like a lot of the clips were from them quarantining quarantining yes, before it was. the show. Yeah. And they were all kind of going a little stir crazy. Mm -hmm. What I, I <laughs> like, let me out of this room. Doing <sighs> random stuff. Well, I'm gonna cut you off for a second. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> cut off. Uh, what, I, what I liked about like these 
the pre-clips of these girls is usually they'll take like five girls and then go in like a full like hometown looking thing. Yeah. But this time we get like almost like a lot of the girls yeah. get a full like background story almost with them. Yeah. A little cl- shorter clips, They're but very, we actually yeah. got more girls out of that. That's mm-hmm. true. But even but then one of the girls actually went home even though she got a full. Like I know the, the, the ballerina. The ballerina. I'm so disappointed. I'm so yeah, disappointed. she was super cute. And yeah. Like afterwards, I, I think I, he he did watch the girls as they left, but um, she definitely. Uh, I feel like that was a huge mistake, of course, after mm-hmm. we're, we're going to find out later who he actually chose. But um, at the end, like for the final rose, mm-hmm. and it was ridiculous. But we'll get into that later. Sure. Um, so I think this season, it's been like the most submissions. dramatic. No, no. Season yet. That, that <laughs> most too. dramatic. But season yet. Um, they had the most submissions like ever. Oh, yeah, ever. For, You're right. For mm-hmm. a bachelor or bachelorette. And if and I had known, I would have been one of those submissions. Oh, yeah. You yes, should have done it. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. That's so sad. <laughs> Too bad. Um, okay, so. And, um, but, but I think all of the girls that are there are actually interested in him. I mean, Victoria mm-hmm. is. Uh, I, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. No, she's Victoria's super into she's it. She's just got a bold personality. Yeah, she's so into him that she went to speak to him twice. So, yep, she's really that's definitely it. it. Okay. So <laughs> now now we're getting into meeting the girls uh-huh. or him meeting these girls for the yeah. first time. I or guess. he talks to Chris on a one on one date. Oh, yeah, you know they what? did. They, he pulled him aside. Yeah. The one on one date. <laughs> I think they needed to do that because Matt's like, uh, what the heck am I doing? Hey, I've never been here he was before. a bit frazzled. <laughs> yeah, he was like, uh, "This first time I'm seeing you, like it's all on camera." So your Can name's Chris. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they kind of talked about like current issues, like within the world, I guess, like mm-hmm. coronavirus, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Matter, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not as much as last season, no, which I'm thankful they didn't show the whole. But it was definitely brought up, and I think it will be brought up more. I think so. Okay. Um, so what girls kind of stood out to you guys? Um, I don't remember her name, but the one with the goat feet. Oh, yes. The Can goat really feet appreciate was, anyone mm-hmm. wearing goat feet. Yes. Give me a second. Goat feet. Kel- K- Kaylee? Is her name Kaylee? Anyways, Kaylee's a great person. Kaylee. <laughs> um, Love Kaylee. Let's it, see. It was uh, Kaylee. I oh, think. no, it's it's goat shoes is Sana. Son, 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 Sania? Oh, yeah. Sana? Sana. Sana. Yes, but that's her name. S A N E H. At the top. Um, she uh-huh. had the goat shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely would have. She looks a lot like Kaylee down there at the bottom. I really enjoyed the tripping. <laughs> I, I appreciated the, the casual trips from a couple the people. Casual tripping. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. so that was good. Yeah. Um, so um, one girl that I thought stood out to Matt the most was Mary. He said that he was like kind of speechless when she mm-hmm. came out of the limo. Yeah, um, she didn't say that. Mm, he, he Mary, didn't. M-A-R-I. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think. She's the, wasn't she like a pageant person? Because one so. of the girls brought it up that... Yeah. yeah. She was a pageant person. I and so. she looks very, um, I don't know the word, ethnic? Yeah. Or in ethnically her, ambiguous, you mean? Yeah, like oh, she yeah. looks like she ha- has like an Indian kind of like descent. Background. Background. Yeah. But on the show, she looked completely different. So when I saw the photo here, I was like, that's her? Mm-hmm. Like it looks, she looks so much different. I think she looks beautiful and both but yeah. I, I was like thrown off yeah I think Sydney I don't know if you guys remember Sydney she she didn't get a lot of air time but she was just radiant she's so beautiful really? I love yeah Sydney was mm-hmm. gorgeous um and another girl that of course stood out to me and I, I think I told you guys this before we started filming but Kit and oh, mm-hmm. Victoria very obviously mean mean great girls, couple together people. they're gonna be girls. best friends like in, the, them? in their own ways like kit is terrible in the non-obvious way where she's you know she thinks she's above everyone and everyone does submit she to probably her. is above everyone and she okay. pr- probably is yes but but she she, she does it in a way that is so like patronizing and um oh, man, I, I, I almost prefer a victoria than a kit because victoria is a lot more easier to just tell that she's horrible and everyone could just see it. Yeah, but, but Kit's going to be like a, some CEO of some company one day. Oh, sure. I think she is a CEO of yeah, a company. Yeah, she, she is. She's a CEO <laughs> of a company. She seems like a CEO. Yeah, Anyways. she's a CEO Isn't there president. Like a, a TikTok thing King. where it says... Like, I am CEO of the company. Oh, yeah, because she's CEO president And, and she keeps referring to anyways. herself as a king, not a queen, which is kind of weird. She said, I'm I the king, I'm the CEO. Yeah, she's gen- gender Victoria's ambiguous of course as well. the queen. Yeah. Um, and Victoria is the queen. I appreciate her letting us know. <laughs> yeah, because um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, appreciate she, the honesty. She's a very odd pick, and I, yeah, yeah I'm very surprised she's um, made as far as Another bold statement was, um, I think it was Kaylee. It could have been the one that showed up in lingerie 
Mm-hmm. Much appreciated. Yep. Yes. And Much appreciated. Thank Matt you. picks the strapless. Yes. Yep. I, that's what I would have picked. I wouldn't have picked that one. Really? Nope. Hmm. I don't even remember what the other one looked like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was Kaylee with the laundry. And then after, right after Kaylee was um, the uh, deaf girl, Abigail, who uh, read, reads lips, but mm-hmm. she's very, very sweet. Mm-hmm. And of course she does get the first. She was so deserving of that rose. first impression rose. Oh my She gosh. just seems like a sweet person. Just pure heart. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Love her. It must run in her family because I think she said. Her sister. Her, sister. her older sister. Her sister. Deaf. Paved the way for her. Mm-hmm. So is she full on deaf? Um, well, she has a little, an implant. Um, I don't really know the extent of how beneficial the implant is, but she does have something Co- to help her. Cochlear implant? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Another girl, I, I wrote a note down. Um, I, I did, she didn't get a lot of airtime either. Her name was Corinne. Um, and I, she looked like she was very mean. <laughs> um, I don't mm-hmm. know. Did she get cut? I, she might have gotten cut. I don't um, know. I don't remember seeing her. But from from her conversation, she seemed just kind of cold. And yeah, I just wrote that down. But like in a, a in nice a way. way. In a hot <laughs> way. In a, really cold hot in a way. hot way. <laughs> Great. Um, and we had Amani. She's a realtor. So like, hello. Oh, I didn't notice we had another realtor. Yeah, yeah. She popped up very, very briefly. Hmm. I was like, hey, I see you, girl. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Amani oh. and... Um, okay, but she got sent home. The realtors keep getting sent home. I know. What is with that? Uh, he was like, I'm a broker. Yeah. I don't need you. <laughs> yeah, I don't need the competition. <laughs> I don't need the competition. Um, <laughs> Piper, as well, um, she, I don't know if you guys remember, she came in and she said um, that her dad wanted her sister and her to keep their last name. And that mm. last name was, of course, James. Mm. So it would have been perfect if they end up together. So mm-hmm. yeah, second it will cousins. be perfect if they do. Yeah, I was... Uh, again, I was super disappointed that Alicia, the ballerina, went home because I really mm-hmm. thought I that they would have been compatible Such based on like her you can tell. working with kids with ballet. But and he then, didn't even get a chance to know that. I know. Well, we didn't see it mm-hmm. unless they did talk right. or they didn't talk. Yeah. But I just feel like they might have hit it off. But he sent her home. So. Yeah. Then Maggie, um, who was from Ethiopia, she came, I think it was like eight years ago from Ethiopia and she's got her doctorate. No, no, no. She came eight years ago from Ethiopia for Matt James. For Matt James. <laughs> for Matt James. That's what we learned in the episode because that's what she told him. I, I came all the way from Ethiopia for you. But yeah, um, she's a very successful sounding yeah, person. She's a pharmacist. pharmacist. She's a pharmacist, yeah. but she seems very down to earth as well. I, I like her tell. hair. I love her. She's Very gorgeous. Puffy. She's she kind of looks like like <laughs> in her picture as well. She kind of looks like Inspo. one of those those like witches that you'd see in shows that like have the voodoo yeah, and the she you know like voodoo vibes. Yeah, yeah. She's cool though. I but like, like in a sexy way. In a sexy way, <laughs> yes. Hundred percent. Very hot. Um, all these girls are very beautiful. Um, mm-hmm. I am very impressed with who they they brought out with all the candidates. Of course, you know mm-hmm. you got a good mm-hmm. pick of the bunch probably than other seasons. Yeah think so um and then who else the one Anna, person one person who baffled me was amber um yeah. i had no idea who she was for like the first 20 minutes and they kept on showing her face i was like who is amber <laughs> but she just would refuse to talk to matt yeah. Oh, yeah and then the victoria was all like yo i'm the queen if you you oh, should talk to matt so too dumb. and then she's like no i'm gonna talk to matt like next week on her no, own, she time. Said, on she my own said. time and then victoria's like okay yeah. well i'm just gonna talk to matt again for you literally oh, literally go okay well if i want to get up i'll get up <laughs> yeah yeah she's I like, mean, if i say Victoria's literally so nice. again you have to do it yeah. literally like you need to do it literally 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 and then she said okay literally now that i've said it like the last time you have to do it and she said i'll i'll get up and i want to get up look if you're gonna have <laughs> like, a oh um, shoot girl if you want one friend in your life who's gonna have your back yes. and is gonna like be your pump up person it's victoria you gotta no, have a Victoria in your sure. life. I I would probably slip my wrist Victoria. before that. Y'all need a Victoria. No, <laughs> I need I need someone that's like half a Victoria that like has a normal voice. So in conclusion, <laughs> with Victoria, definitely would not want her as my friend. I she's just there's so much to her. I feel like she's got a million different personality disorders going on, and I, she <laughs> seems like a mess, and she'd be way too hard to keep up with. I think okay. she might be like a, kind of like a Spencer from Tasha season. Oh, Spencer. Where Yo, yeah. he was like so much drama at the mm-hmm, beginning, mm-hmm, and then all of a sudden mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. disappeared. Hold on. Okay. Let's I don't talk. know if she's going to stop. Let though. me get my viewpoint on Victoria. Okay, okay go okay. ahead. So at the very, very end, okay, you see Victoria. She's in the line of girls. 
they're giving roses out, okay? And you see Victoria's face. She is genuinely concerned. Yeah. So she's been putting, to me, she's been putting in this act the entire time that she is some princess, some queen, okay? She's so so she's just, put, she's, she's putting in an act. Weirdo. And I don't think that that's her real personality. I think her personality is her trying to hype herself up so she can have the courage to actually do this. And in which case, she's overcompensating and calling herself the queen so she can actually have enough courage to actually do the show in the first place. I don't think her I personality like her is actually the same though. as what she's saying. I feel like it's I know her type. I know someone who's so much like her, and they're, they do that all the time. They're like, I'm the queen, and like you guys all need to bow down to me because I'm the best. And like that little valley girl, I can't do it. I just... Anyways, well, I can see um, Victoria being emotionally hurt at the, by the end of this. And oh, next yeah. scene. You think, you think she'll make it through the next round? Um, she probably will, but I think she'll have some... Um, issues after the end of the show mm -hmm. after being yeah. harassed by the girl so much Probably. so okay. something that i think should have been pointed out oh. by the bachelor producers but mm -hmm. wasn't okay there were two girls wearing the same dress and they were stand oh, they're they staggered right one behind the yeah. other girl Usually i would never have noticed would, that if they didn't line them up one yeah. behind same, the, the other same girl. thing with the serena's it was serena and then serena like why so not misleading. mix it up a little bit <laughs> like oh, if yeah. you only have one person like one Two people with the same name. You with the red dress. Into. Stand behind you with the also, same exact red dress. Another criticism. They didn't put like the you know the little description of who it was when they were talking like what they normally do. The last two seasons they've been really slacking on that. And like really, you mean like not as often? Yeah, not as often. Which like, they probably need to do that almost like every single time for the first episode because we have no idea. Who yeah, the people exactly. Are. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do it whenever they first had conversations with him. None mm -hmm. of none of the people had the little description yeah. next to them. So that was. That was a little... So one dirty. person who seems to be really into um, Matt is Rachel. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. She was really feeling it. Yeah I, um, oh, yeah, I relate to Rachel. They had a good conversation. Go on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a good conversation. They yeah. both were at s similar positions in their life, and they both ended up on The Bachelor in similar mm -hmm. situations, I think. And you could tell he really liked her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, he was probably going to give it to Rachel until he talked to Abigail. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, and so 100%. and he was like, "Oh my gosh, it's over for Abigail." Mm -hmm. But it's, what do you mean it's over for Abigail? It's over for it's everyone like it's else. It's a win for sure yeah. for Abigail. Then, but I, you can tell that he's not the typical guy that you know picks the prettiest, or not that you know Abigail is not the prettiest, mm -hmm. but um, she's very pretty. It's just I think each guy has their own type, and his type is down to earth, genuine, something with a hard background that he can relate to and and yeah. feel for easier. And I mm -hmm. think when you're so down to earth like that, like, like Abigail is and like Rachel was, that's just, is going to be his type from now on. I think, I think that's what we're going to find. Yeah. Right. I feel like, um, but giving Abigail the rose gives her almost like a target for the other girls to be like, you think, <laughs> like, I don't think I she's, given I think it, she's the last If anyone should have gotten the first impression rose, it, it should have been, Victoria. <laughs> it should have been either Victoria or Kit because no. they can handle the target. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Victoria, if, anyone, then, goes, if, if anyone goes after Abigail, that's just going to be mean. Yeah. Because she look, she just looks so sweet. Like Yeah, just, that's true. She's probably going to be best friends with everyone by the end of this. Oh, yeah, definitely. I really appreciate the fact that Victoria tripped as well. Uh, Anyways, wait, did um, Amber go home? The the girl who refused to talk to Matt? I think so, yeah. Well, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. she, she wasn't there for the right reasons, you know. <laughs> Bless her heart. Bless um, her <laughs> so... Matt has a lot of one-on-one -on -one, like situations with these girls trying to get through him, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, Abigail, Rachel really stood out. They got to do things like, you know, um, ski ball, slow dancing. Um, I think Kayla brought him to the back of her pickup truck and they sat and had some sweet tea. I like that. I and I like the, yeah. I I liked the fact her. that she brought him to the pickup truck so it's harder for the other girls to steal him for a second. Yeah, you know, no, I, I, I thought that was really smart. Yeah. I was like, God, like they're never going to find him. Yeah, um, like I think if someone needs to go on the show and just go in a secret maze or something so they can't find <laughs> yeah. him. I want to talk about Sarah for a second. And um, she's my second favorite. OK. Um, why? Explain. Why? Because she seems like a generally good person. OK. And yeah. but I do feel bad about her conversation with Matt only because it was the very first conversation. Yeah. And then Matt was all like, am I talking OK? Yeah, I, he was nervous. He was like thinking about himself more than he was thinking about like the conversation probably. Yeah. yeah. And I think that was his issue for the first part of the show was he was mm -hmm. too self-concerned about mm -hmm. people thinking about him the wrong way or something yeah, definitely. like that. Trying to make a good impression. Um, Probably a good point to strategize what t what time of the night you're going to talk to him. Right. Yeah. But, I, but if you're... Too kind late. of, but if you're too late, like Amber. Amber, <laughs> Amber didn't even try, though. She, didn't, she made zero Was effort. Amber even into him? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, 
And then what about Marie? What did you get? I mean, Marie seems pretty nice. She she has family from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. um, and she was talking about kind of her struggles there with the fact that there's hurricanes and mm -hmm. earthquakes all the time. And um, they were having like a deep moment. And then all of a sudden, Victoria burst in for the first time. And No, no, uh, Katie. Or, oh, no, you're right. Katie. It wasn't Victoria. It was Katie. And yeah. what did she do? Oh. She, what did she do she to, to come in? love tap. A little love <laughs> tap with what? <laughs> Her vibrator with, with slash Yeah, Katie's dildo. a... Um, I think Katie's only mistake was that she interrupted too fast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she came in hard. Yeah, she was like... A little bit too waving fast. Waving the thing there like needs a There definitely needs to be a timer lightsaber. on there or something going on. Or like, you know, when you're in like the... Um, let's say you're at a hospital, the nurse's office. You need to have like a little... The girls need to have a seating room. Just and then there needs to be a nurse that says, Katie, we're ready for you now. Ah, <laughs> and then boom, 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 boom. Yeah, but it was, it was weird. She There'd came no full drama. force. Yeah, and that was, I thought that was going to be a little bit more dramatic than it was, um, but... The only thing I didn't like about, um, is it pronounced Mary? I think it's Mary. Marie, was that she was all telling everyone the, about the story about how, like, Katie just came up to me. Oh, yeah, she didn't, thing. she was, she was, was like, was, well, I, I think people, that. people got her to do it as well. They're like, what? She tapped you with, and then she heard that people like to hear that. I do that sometimes myself. Like, if I Tell say a certain everyone. part of the story and people are like, wait, this happened? I'm like, yeah, it happened. And then you end up telling the other person that, like, pretty quickly. Yeah. That, that de detail that you got attention on bef before. So I think that's what she did. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of like the opposite. Really? What? Like, what if do you I mean? tell, you if I tell, it? if I tell one person something, and then I can't tell anyone else that same thing unless I tell that person. I already told another person what? I said that thing. <laughs> it's like the secret I club. So <laughs> it's like for a second. I can't tell you something the I details. told Jade if Jade was in the same room as a, as a thing I told Jade already. Oh, it's like Jade. I had Captain Crunch for breakfast, and then I'll, if you weren't here, I was like. I told Jade this already, but yeah. I had Captain Crunch for breakfast. Yeah. Oh, that's what you, okay. Oh, you yeah. like keep I everyone in the loop. there for a second. <laughs> um, okay, so. Anyways, another, that has nothing to do with anything, yeah. but go <laughs> that's on. That's kind of funny. Uh, side note. So Kit and him have the one-on-one. She just. Wait, they have the one-on-one? -on -one? No, one-on-one. Sorry, one-on-one -on -one time. Okay. Um, and she brings out a snow globe and she just gets started and talking. And like, I'm not mad that she got cut off. No, I'm not going to say that because I don't like her. But, um. I thought it was excellent that Victoria, it was Victoria this time, Yeah, was the mm. one who interrupted her. Yeah. And what she said was, um, excuse me, princess, but the queen is here. Ew. And I just was like, I just, I got so angry after that. I was like, Ugh. I hate you. Okay, but let's but change I the story. Both of them. What if like Kit was the enemy and you already knew Kit was the enemy and then, but then you really liked Victoria and Victoria said that you'd be like, yes, Victoria, the queen. Is that how you felt? Uh, <laughs> no. <but> <laughs> you are the queen. No. Oh, it was so queen good. Victoria in the house. And then after that, like she, she I think it was Kit that was kind of gossiping about how she got cut off mm -hmm. and they were saying how she t tells her, calls herself the queen, like left and right and how it's so annoying. And she's telling that to Amber and then Amber, they were just sitting and talking. And then Victoria, after talking with um, Matt, comes up and says, hey, like you literally, have you literally gotten time? Like you literally need to get time. So nice of her. Like and then, literally. She, yeah, and she said, if I, yeah, I think I said this before, but she said, I like literally, if I say literally again, you have to go. And she's like, I'm doing literally. it on time. And of course we know she never did that. But yeah, I, every mm -hmm. moment with Victoria in it, to me, I just cringe and I'm like, oh, get her off. She might have like a, a social problem. Oh, she doesn't absolutely. know how to like interact with like, absolutely yes. other women. Mm -hmm. My, I, th my, I bet she's an an, um, an introvert trying to be an extrovert. Definitely. You think? Yeah. I don't. I don't see that. I think that the, that's her full character all the time. Um, okay, so yeah, Victoria steals him again from someone else. I forget who, and then gives him a bracelet, and then um, everyone's pissed that she got double time. Um, mm -hmm. They shouldn't be though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think they should be either. I think she should have went for the third time. Yeah. Oh, imagine really, if she really would. I was her. thinking if she could break a record tonight. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> if anyone would do it, it would be Victoria. <laughs> um, and then, what, what was the other thing? I mean, comment. oh, so if you guys want to skip ahead to the rose, do it. You ready for it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Ready for it. So rose ceremony, rose ceremony happens. Mm. Everyone's all lined up, looking gorgeous. Um, he comes up. You know, you can definitely see in his face and, like, the behind-the-scenes moments that they get of him um, that he's really sad that, like, he he said at one point, he said, 
I'm looking around the room and I'm making eye ta- contact with girls I just don't have a rose for. I just thought that was such a sweet comment. Then he also said something like, um, you have to go to places you haven't gone. Um, oh wait, in order to go places you haven't gone, you have to do things you haven't done. I love that quote. And he just brought That's that out sweet. of his- yeah. So poetic. I know. And and so he's like, I gotta, you know, we gotta do this. It's gonna be hard, but I've got to find Mr. Or Mrs. Um, Mr. Mr. That could be a twist. Uh, Mrs. James. Um, and he did a really good job with the roses, except for the last one, which was too Victoria. I don't think Victoria was, she was the last one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The very last one. Uh, Rose. That's why she was all, she was like literally in the back, like crouched down, like all sad. Yeah. yeah. But you know who wasn't crouched down and sad the entire time? Amber? Anna. <laughs> Anna was Anna, happy the was, entire time. She was happy and watching. She's like, no and rose for yeah. me. I'm okay with that. The next one will be mine. Yeah. Not this yeah. one. Maybe the next yeah. one will be mine. And she's making like the, the eye contact with him saying like, like, finally a girl who smiles when I want to be here. Yeah. He says, Emily, I think, or Amon. Who does he say? Oh, I don't know. But she's like, you mean, you mean me? No, no, no. Yeah. The girl behind you. No, that was so awkward. I was like, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. And I think it was the girl that was wearing the same dress as her. That's something I, I would do I as think well. Anna should have just confused with everyone's name. Um, Abigail, do you? Anna? <laughs> no, just no, no, like, no, no. I would just be like, both of you guys, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was just Kent? awkward. You mean Anna? No, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was good. And so that moment with Anna and him, and like, she finally got the rose, that was cool. And then, yeah, final rose was to Victoria, which I was just Victoria. Like crazy so on the TV. So who went home? Were there, how much people went home? Oh, there were like four or five. Like they might as well just keep all the girls. Like don't even do this whole rose and ceremony thing. there were some thing. super sweet girls. Bring them all, bring them over the next day. They put a lot of time and effort to be there. Yeah. Let them at least stay Yeah, let them just stay the night. Let them, let them stay the night. They quarantined. You know? I bet they are able it's to like, stay It's like, and the night. ballerina would have stayed because she would have finally got her life story in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talking to them. I mean, Amber could have left. I know. <laughs> just give out, just give out everyone but, except for one person. Yeah, I thought that, <laughs> but they had too many people on. It was 32. I think that's the most that they've ever had as well. I think sounds about average to me. Really? Yeah. I thought it was 28 or 27, yeah. 30. Do you think he, the Bachelor and Bachelorette goes off of like, looks the first night except besides the first impression rose no like for giving out the rose or do i don't think no. i think normally maybe because but he did i've not. seen talk to if he didn't talk to some of these girls how did he know because well, you just look at someone them. no and they introduce, their face. they introduce themselves to him so he remembers oh, before those then. yeah they re- he remembers that moment and so True. he could probably be able to tell like and plus he's like watching the cameras behind the scenes and seeing how the girls interact with each other he's like oh no way he's doing he? victoria is really cool no <laughs> definitely not that. Like <laughs> okay so um the end of the rose ceremony um uh, there were such beautiful girls that didn't get picked, of course. And then but it flips. Goat shoes got picked. Goat shoes did get picked, and we're we're happy about that. She's she's a cool girl. Um, but after that, we have um, the season highlights, mm-hmm. the the typical little season highlights. And what do you guys think about that? What any anything stick out? Hold to on, you? hold on. You missed it. You missed what? the. Did you not see the funny thing they did? What they're like. Um, special clip from the upcoming season kind of thing and it just shows Matt James in a shower and it says now previews of the, the season oh, kind of oh I, didn't, I didn't notice that <laughs> <laughs> like it was like three seconds yeah like we all appreciate special that clip yeah, what's special, happening in the future yeah I don't That's know what I, said, I, didn't, but I didn't catch it I just yeah. thought it was yeah. like a continuation no it was thing. funny um, yeah so lots of tears definitely lots of tears um, in it. Um, anything stick out in particular yeah no. uh, he says uh, Chris Harrison does the Everything is about to change. Oh, yeah. Right. What the heck? So we're going to have a big dramatic something coming. And it seems yeah. like there's new girls coming Lots in for some reason. Lots of new girls. Oh, one yeah. Girl I from, forgot about that. One oh. other girl from The Bachelor. Yeah, like, I think she, she was on whose season in The Bachelor? Colton, Colton I think? Heather, her season? name's Heather. Yeah. Colton she's friends season. with Hannah Brown, who's used to date Tyler Cameron. And she popped and in. And Matt came from Tyler Cameron, who was on The Bachelorette. Mm. That's how he got into the mix. Mm. Very suspicious. So anyway, it sounds very dramatic. Hannah and, and that girl that's coming from previous season are friends. So that's kind of like how they've met beforehand. They yeah. should have just kept the gate closed. Yeah, just no one else. <laughs> <laughs> just stay she away. She quarantined too before she got there. Yeah, I mean, You know I'm how sure many people are going to try to find that gate now and like line up to be like, me too. I'm going to come by. Um, I mean, me included. Um, but anyway, so we've got a lot to look forward to with uh, this season. I'm really pumped. I think you guys are pumped too. And hopefully you guys are as well. 
Um, but I think that wraps it up for this episode. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow us on Instagram at this is not a date podcast. And if you want to um, see us next week, we'll be on probably Wednesday. Who knows? Thanks for coming by today. <laughs> My name's Keith. That's Jade. I'm Callison. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>